Hi. I bet I can read your eyes right from here. It's so anxious to see what you're going to learn. Oh, Pixel, that's good. Yeah, Pixel, we're fucked. Straight out of a 90s kid sketchbook and here to kick your ass. That's drawn to death and this is a pixelated preview. Coming from the creative yet warped mind of David Jaffe, who is more so known for his work on the Twisted Metal series as well as God of War 1 and 2, comes Drawn to Death. Developed by the Bartlett Jones Supernatural Detective Agency as well as the Sony Interactive Entertainment San Diego studio, Drawn to Death is a free-to-play arena-style shooter that is based out of a sketchbook. It might sound weird to you at first, but trust me, it works, and I'll explain it all to you. If you've ever been bored in class and doodled in your notebook, then you can already relate to our faceless and nameless disembodied guide here. The very moment you start the tutorial, it will all make sense. You will get the style of humor and gameplay straight away. Personally, as much as I enjoyed the gameplay itself, I have to already say that the tutorial is hands down one of my favorite parts of this game. The dialogue between the characters while being immature to most is so damn hilarious to me. Who doesn't love a shit-talking cat and a condescending biology frog? When you jump into the game for the first time, you're given a few days with pretty much everything unlocked, giving you a chance to see everything and seeing what you like best. But they do switch around what characters are available to you for free every few days, same as the weapons. Like with most free-to-play games, you have the option to purchase various things to keep for good. You get to try out everything available pretty much, and if you really end up enjoying the game, then you can outright pay a set price and buy everything you want. Or just buy future content they add over time. You can also buy most of the weapons with coins earned in the game, but this will take a pretty good amount of grinding. But still, it's a free way to get your hands on some of these weapons. And if you enjoy the game a lot, you can definitely end up sinking a lot of time into it and buy a good amount of the weapons on your own. As far as the gameplay goes, it's got an old school arena shooter feel which I really love. One where it's easy to learn, but hard to master. You can casually play the game, although you'll probably get your ass kicked most likely, but if you take the time to master the different weapons, finding one that suits your playstyle, and learn the layout of the maps and pickups, then you stand a fighting chance. Each character has their own unique special abilities. They did a good job of making them match up to the character's personality. You can also call in the hand that drew you, giving you a few other bonus attacks. No, sir. So I'm just gonna take the dump right here and keep doing my job. The modes given to us so far are as follows. Brawl. Brawl mode! Damn. Really should have warmed up for that. A sudden death style match where you get one life. <laughs> Organ Donor. You kill your opponent to make them drop hearts. You then take those hearts to an objective zone to turn them in. Oh man, you killed him! They were just about to make Oh man, this is it! Oh the goddamn oh man! Goddamn game points right here! Fire the dog with a long shoulder tongue! Match complete! You are the winner! Team Deathmatch. Pretty self-explanatory, except in this version, when you die, your team loses a point. All of them seem to play pretty well, but Organ Donor is the most intense for me. The pressure of turning in a huge amount of hearts during a close game can be nerve-wracking. So you're gonna try to deposit five hearts all at once? Really? Wow, you got guts, pal. You're a fucking idiot, but you do have the guts. Nice! I'm gonna cover this game with more information when it launches, if it's something you guys are interested in but I just kind of wanted to cover the most basic stuff for now. How are you going to know you're interested in the game without playing it, right? Well, I got you on this one. Try out this multi-use code and get yourself into the beta right fucking now. Feel free to spread the code around, too. Kind of like the herpes you never tried to get, but now you get the pleasure of passing it along. Thanks a bunch for checking this video out, and I hope to draw you an ass whooping on the game. Uh, mm. 
that was a weak one.